guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it has been like a month since I've made any videos. We were out of town one weekend, I got food poisoning one weekend, and then it was like Mother's Day. So something just keeps on impeding me from making videos on the weekends. But I made sure to set aside time today, and I thought I would just come back with an old tried and true, a May favorites video. I haven't done a favorites in a while, so I have quite a few things that um, I've been enjoying for the past couple months really. Um, and a lot of them are teacher things, a lot of them are mommy things, a couple of beauty and fashion stuff. Um, so I thought I would just share those with you today. Let's start with some mommy things. I have two books that I've really been loving reading to Jensen lately. And he's 11 months old so he can't sit for all that long and you know he probably doesn't really understand the books yet but um, I love like just coming home with him when he's kind of tired in the afternoons and just reading at least like half of a book that's usually all we get through and he really likes to like close the book and then open it again <laughs> he's more interested in moving the pages than really listening to them but I just want to kind of get in the habit of reading to him the first one is this one called do unto otters a book about manners by Lori Keller and I mentioned in one of my last videos that I love otter stuff for him I buy him as many otter books as I can because he's my little otter baby and this one is really cute just like when you say it out loud it sounds funny but um like let's so there's a rabbit who gets some new neighbors and he's not sure how that's gonna go so he says um, do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you it's like what does that mean it simply means treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me hmm how would I like otters to treat me so it's just so cute I love that it's like the otters and the others and um, they go through like all these ways of being polite and saying thank you and you're welcome and greeting people and being patient with people and it's just very cute and something that I do want Jensen to know so I like this one other book is this really gorgeous one called when God made you by Matthew Paul Turner and the illustrations are by David Catro the illustrations are really beautiful like here's the the opening page everything is in these kind of jewel tones like here are the little girls in the book and it's very poetic it's kind of like a like a spoken word type of a sound and like these are truths that I would want Jensen to hear from me every single night I can't wait till he's like a little bit older and he can understand these words and maybe like start memorizing them these are just really beautiful truths that I think any mom would want to speak over their kid so it starts like this you, you, when God made you, God made you all shiny and new, an incredible you, a you all your own, a you unlike anyone else ever known, an exclusive design, one God refined, you're a perfectly crafted one of a kind, because when God made you, somehow God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. So it kind of has like a Dr. Seuss cadence to it a little bit, but I like this better than Dr. Seuss books. And honestly, if you can get your little one to sit long enough to read through the entire thing, you start to like hear it for yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, when God made me, he, <laughs> you know, made me one of a kind. It's just so good. I love the end. It says that you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind, a dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream, a mover, a shaker, a lover of nature, a builder of bridges, you the peacemaker. And it continues, but it's just so, so wonderful. I think this is probably my favorite book. So I can't wait to read this one to him for years and years to come. Another baby thing that I got recently um, is this little nail whale. <laughs> it's for clipping their nails, which is such a hard thing to do. And I think the first nail clippers that I got for him were like $2 on Amazon. And they really didn't work very well. They were kind of dull and I felt like I always had to like press really hard and I was afraid I was like catching skin and I was going to hurt him and I hated cutting his nails. But I did them this morning with these and it was way faster, they're way sharper. They even have this little, um, let's see, they like go like this, I think, yeah. It, the whale ends up like upside down. But they have this little magnifying glass, which is a little disorienting, but um, if you can kind of figure out how to look through it, um, you can magnify their little nails and like look closer to make sure that 
you're just getting the nail and not any skin or whatever so um you can also just flip it back if it does disorient you too much <laughs> i actually didn't use it this morning because his nails were so long <laughs> i had just not been able to get to them for a while but it the process just like went really quickly he was just watching tv on my lap and i just went around and got all 10 so now i need to do his toes but this is much better i think um this was like closer to ten dollars on amazon but it was worth it because it does a much better job. The other thing that I've been liking for Jensen lately, I just have the box for it because we finished them all, but they are these organic silver dollar pancakes from Trader Joe's. They're just a couple of dollars. They come frozen. You just put them in your freezer and then I take out like three at a time and I just stick them in the microwave for 30 seconds. So it's super fast. Like I kind of use these for like an appetizer for him. So I'll put them in his little, um, high chair when he's starting to get hungry and then I'll just do a couple of these like rip them up and put them on his little tray while I go get his like real lunch ready or his real dinner and these are nice and they're really small they're like well maybe like that big um, and so they're nice and like squishy he can just pick them up they're soft he just chews on them and then by the time that he's done with those and I usually have like his other meal more ready more prepared let's do a couple of beauty things next um this skincare company nudu natural beauty sent me some of their products and i really like them um i need to like use the whole line all together i've just been kind of sampling things but i love it so far and my favorite thing is this softening moisturizer it's anti-aging and for oily skin which is everything that I want and it comes in this airless pump which to be honest I haven't been able to get to work I've used these airless pumps before um, and it, I think the product is just a little bit too thick to catch and come out um, so I've just been unscrewing it and just using it from the bottle but it is nice and thick but it's not heavy and it's for oily skin but it's not too mattifying I think this is my favorite consistency so I'm just going to take it out like this See, it doesn't have like a tube. I like these, this kind of packaging. It's just, this is a little too thick for it. Just has a really slight fragrance and it's just the perfect consistency. I think this is my favorite consistency of facial moisturizer I've ever used. So that's a pretty big deal. I'll continue to use it and then um, make sure to combine this like with all of the other Nudu products and give you a little update, but so far I love it. I also got this little combo palette from ColourPop. Um, they are a really affordable cosmetics brand. If you haven't ever ordered anything from ColourPop, I haven't seen their stuff in stores, but you can just order online on ColourPop.com, I think. And they have really nice products. I usually have, you know, like been drawn to their stuff because they do collaborations with YouTubers. They've done a few things with Kathleen Lights that I've ordered and then um, I just heard a few people talking about this little palette so I've been using this side as blush it's just kind of a really peachy blush somebody I think like Jaclyn Hill said that it was a bronzer but that's a that would be a weird color for a bronzer not that I would dare to disagree with Jaclyn Hill because she is the queen of makeup but I just use it as a blush and then I've also been using it as an eyeshadow which I think gives like a really cohesive look um, and it's really just like nice and buttery such a good consistency and then I've been using the highlight on this side as well too I used it today and I love it so this little combination the packaging is nice it's pretty like slim you could take this with you and I've just been loving it I can't remember if I already mentioned this in another video but I've been loving the Tarte Tartlet eyeshadow palette these are all mattes and they're all neutrals really and I think that the best way to use it is just to use like these four together these four and these four I, I think that's how it's meant to be so my favorite are these two this one I don't know if it like suits me quite as well but I kind of um, mix in some of these shades into the other kind of color schemes. I really like this kind of pink and purple look and so you use the lightest one just all over your lid. These all make really nice crease shades and then these look really nice on kind of the outer corner of your eye and then these I've been using as like eyeliner because I don't really love using eyeliner. I just like 
dark eyeshadow that I just smudged into my lash line. So this is perfect for me if you are not into a ton of shimmery shadows or a ton of crazy colors, but you just want something is neutral and you can use every day and not do exactly the same look. You can kind of switch it up. Um, I definitely suggest this. I have two fashion items. One is a shirt that I can't remember if I put in my Made in the U.S. haul or not. I don't think I did, but um, I got this on Amazon. This is just kind of a wine-colored shirt with the little knot detail at the bottom. Um, it's a little longer than some t-shirts, which I like. I have a long torso anyway and short legs, so <laughs> I like long t-shirts. And a lot of times they don't look as long on me, but this one does. And I love the knot detail, and I just feel like this is a perfect kind of weekend shirt, the perfect casual and comfortable top that's not too like messy looking. So I've been wearing this every chance that I get. And then I was at Marshall's the other day and I also got these sandals by Steve Madden and they're just so like classic looking. I just like that they were fairly simple. They just had the crisscross, but then this little gold detail on the edge is really cute I think as well. They've got gold buckles. And so with shoes, I haven't always been able to find like fair trade or made in the US shoes. So I just try and go to like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or somewhere where, you know, it tends to be like overstock or whatever. Mostly just because I like the prices there. I don't want to spend too much on something that I'm not totally morally invested in, but I really do like these. They are really fun to wear, so I'll wear these today. And while I'm talking about fashion, um, I can just mention that this was a thrifted and then like upcycled shirt. It's got like a ombre bleach thing going on right here. So I'm wearing this today, and then my Elegant Tees black maxi dress. Ugh, I had to have the camera up so high today, but um, yeah, so these are both super comfortable. So everything I'm wearing besides the shoes is like ethically made or ethically sold, ethically purchased by me anyway. I found something really cool for teaching that I wanted to talk about. I was at Staples the other day getting a few things from my classroom and I saw this. This is the Big Ideas notepad. I actually have already gone through a whole one and I just bought another one on Amazon. It's like, it's like $12.50, so it's not cheap. But it has like brainstorming paper that's really, really cute. So here's a page, some look like this, some look like this. It's got just really cool colors and cool fonts. I like this one, preliminary stage, this page not to be judged, violators are jerks. <laughs> so they're kind of funny, they just look really cool and if you're doing like an essay with your kids. I, you know, I wouldn't use this all the time because it's super expensive, but um, just for something where they're going to have to do a lot of brainstorming right at the beginning, it's just kind of fun to hand out one of these pages. And they're all different, so I just, you know, gave five to the row or whatever, and they all kind of chose the one that they wanted, and it made brainstorming a lot more fun. I'm really into like paper products and cool fonts and cool colors and whatever you can do just to make the writing process like more beautiful I am really into so I love this staples or Amazon I have one more book thing um, these last things are just kind of like lifestyle um, I love this I can't really say that it's a favorite yet I guess because I haven't used it yet but I've been flipping through and I love it so I got this on Amazon also this is hand lettering 101 I actually ordered a couple of different hand lettering books and didn't like the other ones as much as this. This is exactly what I was looking for. For one, the cover is gorgeous. It's kind of like my sandals. It has little gold accents on the corners. And this is like handwriting practice. I remember like first grade, second grade when you'd be practicing. We learned Danillion. I don't know if anyone else knows what that is, but it was, it's printing, but like a little bit curvier, I guess. I don't know. I went to private school when I was in kindergarten, first and second grade. It's kind of a weird private school, but I liked learning handwriting. And so that is what you get to do in this one. I just wanted um, like examples and explanations and then space to practice like beautiful hand lettering. I like this page a lot. It just has the word hello, like just plain and then um, adding downstrokes, filling those in, and then adding like little outlines and little like bursts, and then adding the word there, and then a heart. So I just love this kind of stuff. 
I have no real reason to want to be good at this, except that I love writing letters, I love addressing cards, and then even just like on my whiteboard at school, I want to be able to do really cool lettering and like just make my whiteboard really pretty. So I think this is going to be fun. I'm going to practice this summer. This last item is kind of random. I got this at Target. It came in a package of two and they were $3 in that little like dollar spot section. It's kind of small, just a little mason jar. I like the bumps on it. I like that it's mint green. And I have just been putting water in this in the morning. I'm always so thirsty when I wake up in the morning and they say that you should like drink water right away, but it's kind of hard because I'm like trying to get myself ready and get Jensen ready. So this isn't too big, so I just carry it around with me and just sit my water all morning. And then before I head out the door, I just make sure that I've at least had this much water. And it's just the cutest, cutest little jar. So it makes me want to drink my water. So love this. And then the last thing before we go, I have been loving on Netflix a series of unfortunate events. So this one's the Netflix series. I also love the movie version that Jim Carrey was in a couple years ago. Um, but after testing, we had so many hours where the kids were like already brain dead. We tested for two weeks. So there were a few days where we just needed to watch something. And so we watched a series of unfortunate events. Mostly we just got through like, you know, one um, episode. But there are a bunch of books in that series. I think there's like 13 and then like apocryphal books that kind of come at the beginning and end that, you know, he wrote later that kind of fill in bits of the story. So it's such a cool series. And I think watching the Netflix version kind of got some kids interested in reading the books. So I've even just been watching it like at home by myself too. It's so good. I love the acting. I love the sets. I love the costumes. The kids are great. Sunny is always my favorite. She was my favorite in the movie and she's still my favorite. Neil Patrick Harris is in it. It's awesome. So if you need something to binge watch that's just kind of silly and gothic and literary and they always talk about the meaning of words, it's hilarious and super sad at the same time and I just love like the vibe of that show so I definitely recommend that as well. Anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I've got so many ideas, so many things that I want to do during nap time on weekends. I wish I had more time to film but as many as I can get done I will so I'll see you in my next video. Bye!